Hello, everybody. Welcome to Little John's Yarns. I'm Alicia. Like I usually say, if this is your very first time here, I like to talk about crochet patterns and sip wine from my little coffee mug and discuss things all crochet. So today we're going to be looking at 10 of my favorite amigurumi patterns because it's almost that time of year. I'm going to be like everybody else and I'm going to completely skip over Thanksgiving and we're going to talk about Christmas. Amigurumi are like the perfect little patterns to make, give somebody a gift or a child so they can have their own little personal lovey so they can hold on to for all times. So that's what we're going to be looking at here today. Oh, and also, if you happen to stay during this live stream, it's usually about an hour long. If you would like to send a picture of something that you're working on, you can send it to my email address, littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. It's down in the description box. And send me what you're working on so we can share it with everybody. So let me hop into the comments and see where you're from, what time it is, what's the weather. I'm in Western Pennsylvania and it is unseasonably warm. What's I gotta look at my phone. I feel like it's in the 70s today. I barely it is 79 degrees. It's hot. I'm in this sweatsuit. I should have put on a tank top and some shorts or something because it's entirely too hot. All right, let me hop into the comments and see who's here. We have a tip. Basil, first tip. Practice yarn under before starting. It's way better for amigurumi. Tip number two, use cotton. A million times better results than acrylic. Things I don't do, but wish I did. <laughs> Things you don't do. Well, we're all, maybe we all need to start doing it. I never realized uh, cotton was better for amigurumi. I guess cotton does have like a better hold when you crochet with it. And I guess it would last longer. And especially if you're like giving it to a child or something like that. Let's see, we have one of my faves, Knit and Crochet Tiger. Hi from New Orleans. I was just in New Orleans this past summer. I went down to the uh, Craft Yard, but Crochet Guild of America, it was their chain link conference. I know I've been talking about this for the past couple weeks, but if you love crochet and you're in it as much as I am, join the CGOA, Crochet Guild of America. But this last conference was down in New Orleans. It was in July. Oh, it was hot, but I still had such a great time. What's up, Georgetta? And uh, I'm going to try to say, pronounce this, Rovilla. Rovilla. I'm from North Carolina, and it's mild weather with clouds. <laughs> Things you don't do. And want, when, welcome back. I can remember you being here before because I know I don't pronounce your name right. But good afternoon from sunny Florida. Could you do me a favor and can you phonetically write how to pronounce your name in the comments? Because I don't want to always ruin it. I don't know when to call you Wan. I just want to say it right. <laughs> and I will remember. And we have one more, Tracy, from... Hello, everybody from California. Been making one of your uh, one-piece slippers. Girl, I love quick patterns. I've been on like... This will be one of the questions I'm going to ask. This, thanks for reminding me. Okay, before we get into this roundup, I usually like to ask you a question. So the question is, before you comment, make sure you put question marks in front of it so we can bring it to the front. Oh, what was it? What was it? One piece slippers. Oh, have you ever made something like a gift for somebody, but you decided to keep it for yourself? Have you ever made a gift or whatever for anybody, a crochet gift. And once you were all done with the project, you're like, oh, this is nice and decided to keep it for yourself. So what is it? What did you make? And why did you decide to keep it for yourself? So we're going to hop into this roundup. And guys, if this is your very first time, you just hop in on this uh, video on a replay. All the free patterns are linked down in the description box below. You don't have to watch me the whole time while doing this. So remember, Put your little question marks in front so I can bring all your things to the front. So let's hop into this roundup. Uh oh, I forgot to share my screen. I'm sorry, guys. I should have did this ahead of time. Share screen. There we go. So, okay, now I got it. Hide this button. And 
Let's hop into the first one. The first one is from one of my very favorite designers in the whole entire world. But this is the Amigurumi Bumblebee. Bees have been taking over the crochet world by storm lately, and I'm totally here for it. The simple form and minimal sewing make them perfect for crochet beginners. Plus, they're super darn cute. And the designer of this pattern is Hook by Robin. Hook by Robin is one of my favorite crocheters. Since I'm a crochet designer, I don't follow too many other patterns, but as a person, she's awesome. Looking at her patterns, she's awesome. She has like almost like a half million subscribers. So she's amazing. So make sure you check out her uh, website. The next pattern we are going to look at, this is called the Mushroom Buddy. Mushrooms are another type of crochet pattern for free amigurumi that's been super popular lately. This little mushroom guy even has a cute little face. Don't you just want to take him home with you? The designer of this pattern is Stitch by Faye. I love amigurumi. I wish I was able to design amigurumi. I mean, I can follow a pattern for it, but to think up a design, I have no imagination. Any other pictures on this page? I always like to look for more pictures. These are so cute. All right. So the question that I asked, have you ever made something for anybody? It was their gift. You finished it and you're like, no, this is way too nice. I've done that. I'll, of course, I'll go first. I've done that before. I'm trying to think of exactly. I think it was a granny square sweater. Initially, it was planned for my daughter, and by the time I got done with it, I was looking at it, and I love my daughter. She's the most amazing girl in the whole entire world, but sometimes people don't care about crochet as much as you do, and I was thinking, will this sweater end up on the floor? Will this sweater end up being snagged by a hanger? So I kept it for myself, and I love that sweater. I like wearing it out because people stop me and say, oh, where did you get it? And, you know, us as crocheters, we love to say, I made it. So so let me hop into the comments. Has this ever happened to you? Let me scroll to the top. And maybe a, a Wan Wan told me how to, oh, short for Wanda. So Wan, I can call you Wan then. Thank you so much. I will never call you Wan again. That's so horrible. Wan. All right. Brenda. She says, yes, a baby blanket. The first time making a V-stitch uh, blanket and it turned out amazing. Were you just looking at it like, they don't deserve it. It's mine. Georgetta, she, you're better than us. So you're going to get a cheers <laughs> for not keeping your crochet. Sometimes there's so much work I put into it. I'm like, oh, I truly think that when I used to do custom orders, but I'm like, they paid for it. I can't keep it. I'm like, well, custom orders, I can never, most of the things people requested, I would never make. And after I make it, I'm like, I want one of those. Okay, Ravilla says, yes, I made the Tree of Life Afghan, ooh, for a present and decided it was too beautiful. That I had to keep it for myself. Understanding. Speaking of Tree of Life, I'm going to try to turn my camera. I have the, don't look at my dirty house. Can you see it past there? That's the Amigurumi. Tree of Life over there. My mom made it for me. I think she was going to keep it for herself, but I'm like, I stole it. She's talented. I, I can tie a couple knots in Amigurumi, but I'm not skilled. My mom creates one more look. Oh, 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 oh. No, let me stop pulling this thing because my thing might come unplugged. Can I turn my, I'm trying to turn my camera so you can see. Can you see that big one on my wall? She made that one for me, too. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, I think I get everything right. I swore everything would come apart. Okay, let's see what my girl says, Knitting Crochet Tiger. Let me take a sip before I read. Yes, it was a blanket, an Apache uh, Trail of Tears. I was about to do a little tutorial, this tutorial on that one. It took me seven months to make. It was uh, for a twin-size bed. I'll give you credit, because... Is the patchy tears, that's uh, when they're post stitches, but they're staggered going down. Any type of post stitches or drop stitches, those are yarn eaters. I don't blame you for keeping it. I would have kept it too. 
Hey, Proverbs, how you doing? And Joe says, I made a shawl from a bag of day crochet and kept it. No, any, I think any wearables I'm going to keep. A blanket, nobody will see your blanket in the house. I have one blanket tossed over my couch. And I think I have a blanket upstairs for my grandma, but nobody sees those. When you have a wearable, you can show off what you're making. Oh, and guys, and if you're watching this on a replay and you're wondering why I talk so much during live, script, live streams, I like to talk to you and get to know you. Like I said, all these patterns are free down in the description box. But Tracy says, I made a teddy bear and it came out perfect, perfectly, snout and all. So I kept it till my pastor had a grandson, so I gave it to the baby. I missed the teddy bear. You know what? You waited till it was worthy to be given away. It's like uh, you were a foster care uh, giver to the teddy bear until you found them their perfect true home. I'm so sentimental. Oh, ooh, let me scroll down for some. I'm going to skip a couple. Hey, Caitlin. I made a blanket for my brother and I kept it. You know what I love when people ask you to make something for them? Like they're doing you a favor so you can make them something. It's hard giving it away. Oh, random thing. You know what's hard to give away? Yarn. All this yarn, this, my kids call it the model yarn because it's never used. It just stays back there. My yarn in this corner is what I use. I have trouble giving it away. Okay, I'll do one more and we'll hop back into this roundup. Who did I miss? Do, 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 scroll. I almost never keep anything for myself. I literally had to force myself to make some gloves yesterday. Just about everything goes to my kids and grandkids. See, you're a giving person. <clears throat> Actually, if I'm making hats, those will go off to my family members. My, inner, my kids or whatever, they love hats. But everything else, hmm. Slippers I give away because I make so many patterns for those. I'll give those away because I don't really wear slippers that much around the house. But that's pretty much it. All right. So let's hop back into this pattern roundup. And like I usually do, before we go into these next two uh, patterns, I'm going to ask you a question. So in the comments below, I want you to put question marks in front of it so I know to pull it to the front. So the question is... I'm trying to read my notes. What are the questions? Started Christmas. Oh, has anybody started their Christmas crochet? Don't just say yes. Tell me what are you making? Who are you making it for? Is it tiring? Is it a hard pattern? Tell me. I want to hear your little life story next to your question mark. So have you started your Christmas crochet yet? So let's hop back into this pattern roundup. And remember, all of these patterns can be found down below in the description box. All right, this one, I don't have, uh, it's a video tutorial. Hold on, make sure I share my screen. Sometimes I forget, I did. This is a video tutorial, so that's why you're not seeing the website. This is the Cactus Cat Amigurumi. Combine your love of plants with your love of animals in this adorable cat cactus design. The pattern includes a video tutorial, which is super helpful for visual learners and beginner crocheters alike. The designer of this pattern is Delilah Crochet. This is what I'm talking about when people design and create a brand new amigurumi pattern i would have never thought to put a cat in a cactus that's adorable i just wish i had that imagination so the next one this is called the amigurumi snake plant i would love to be cool enough to keep oh i just have to say a disclaimer about this next description i'm going to read my uh va my assistant she writes some of the roundups for me if you can see the background of my room, you know I'm pretty good with plants. So now let me read the description. I would love to be cool enough to keep a plant alive. I can, but I'm really just not. Luckily, I can crochet my own plant that's even cuter using this adorable snake plant pattern. The best part is that you don't even have to remember to water it. The designer of this pattern is Menagerie of Stitches. Menagerie. It's a hard word to say. I find. I appreciate my VA so much for putting all these roundups for me together so I can give them to you live. But as you guys can see, I can keep plants alive. I am plant addicted. 
if there's anything like, what would you like for your birthday? What would you like for Christmas? I tell people I like yarn. I like plants. I like to feel like I'm outside in nature. Okay, that's enough about that. Let's hop into the question. Oh, before we hop into the question, if you would ever like to help support my channel, you can support the channel by uh, donating via Super Chat. You'll see a little dollar sign next to the comment button where you're at right now. And when you press that, bubbles with uh, this side bubbles will blow the lights will go off and you'll get to spin the wheel of patterns to see what pattern you will win so just letting you know we'll see if these lights work in a little bit if anybody happens to donate all right so the question that i was asking have you started your christmas crochet i'll go first let me take a sip i'm horrible i never crochet anything any for Christmas. When I used to work, whenever we would have, I still work, crochet is my job. When I had a, when I was a, what's a, a counselor, when I used to work with kids and I had coworkers, I would crochet that. Anything I made from like old videos, I would just pack up and put some slippers on and get like a coffee mug and cute little gift basket. But now I don't crochet anybody anything for Christmas. Is that bad? I don't know. I love my skill. People are like, why don't you make me a hat? I don't want to. I'm going to make me a hat or I'm going to make me a video tutorial. And if it's left over, you can have it, maybe. All right, so I'm going to start from the bottom. Hey, before, I know there's no question mark, but this is one of my faves. Good morning, Alicia, and everybody in the chat. Welcome back. All right, so let's get into the first one. Kaylin. Yes, per my sister's request, I'm making a smitten glove for holding hand. Aw, glove for holding hands for like the couples for my niece and her boyfriend. Oh, your niece has a boyfriend. She better be in her 20s. <laughs> I'm using a pattern that looks like hearts with two cuffs on top. It's cute. Schmittens. What's knit and crochet tiger? This year, I'm not crocheting knitting anything for anyone. I'm currently designing a shawl inspired by the zodiac sign Scorpio. Are you a Scorpio? I'm a Scorpio too. I just had a birthday. Okay, see, me and Basil, we talk in this uh, chat. Oh my gosh, Christmas? I totally forgot about Christmas. I need to get to work. It's okay. Christmas is only close because Thanksgiving doesn't exist anymore. I was driving around. I went to go see my daughter uh, about two hours away at college. She had this uh, orchestra thing she's going on. Oh, she won the Young Conductors Award. My daughter, she's a music major. She's amazing. She's been playing piano since the age of six, seven years old. She's 21 now. And now she's just this wonderful, talented person. And I forget what I was getting at. Oh, Christmas lights. I went off on a tangent. It was dark by the time we came home. And I'm seeing like, Halloween was just the other day. Why does everybody have their Christmas lights already? I mean, I guess you're trying to get the most out of your decorations, but to me, it sounds like you're getting the least out of your electric bill. Just saying. <laughs> I always wanted to make one. Uh, Caitlin says, I'm working on a Christmas doily with crochet, ooh, crochet thread, your star, and Christmas tree edge tatting. I've always, want, it's tatting. I've always, that's what that weird little, boop, boop, boop. I always wanted to do that. Let's see, anybody else got any question marks? Did I miss? Did I do this one? I looked at it and said, oh, this was from the last question about giving things away. I looked at it and said, this is just the right size for a lap blanket and I was just the right weight. And oh, and was just the right weight. And last one, and then we'll hop back into this roundup. This is Caitlin. She says, good afternoon, Alicia, and everyone in the chat. I am completely agree that no one will appreciate my crochet creation more than I do. My, oh, thank you, Caitlin. Hey. Hey, guys, I appreciate this phonetic name pronunciation. Being online and reading people's names triggers me back to being 19 years old and working at a telemarketer center with the headphones on and somebody's name would pop out and their name would have 15 consonants and one vowel and i'm sitting there i'm trying i'm struggling but thank you kaylin all right so let's hop back into this pattern we got a super chat my bubbles didn't go off because my bump the lights did 
Sabrina Aguilera. I want to say thank you. And you deserve the bubbles. I didn't plug it in. Oh, forgive me. There's the bubbles. <laughs> so you get to spin the, oh, drop my lamp. You get to spin the wheel of patterns. Sorry, you had to look at my butt when I walked away. So next time the bubbles will go off, I promise. But the lights did go off. I appreciate that. So we're going to spin. You win the rainbow pattern. Let's make sure I was sharing the screen. So let me show you exactly what that one is. This is my Etsy shop. Ooh, you guys see I was looking at plants. See, I love Etsy plants. Here it is right here. So if you like this pattern, remember you have to email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com and I will send that pattern over you because I can't find you on YouTube. There's no way to find you. So please email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Oh, thank you. My green outfit. This is one of those cheap outfits. People always, hey buddy. People always talk about how I always talk about how things cost. I don't mean to, but if somebody says, oh, that's nice, I'd be like, I got this for $9.99. Oh, we got another super chat. See, look, now the bubbles are going. Oh, uh, Caitlin, thank you so much for donating via super chat. You also get to spin the Wheel of Patterns. So let's give that a spin. There we go. Up done. And spin. Let's see what you get. You get the three in one pattern. Let me show you what that looks like. My three in one patterns right here. Actually, that's more than three in one. That's like four in one. I can't count guys all in one pattern. <laughs> So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com so you can get your pattern, Caitlin. All right, guys, you're going to see me get up again and turn off the uh, super chat triggers. Oh, I used to keep the plug right here, but my son got the long extension cord. So I got to go all the way to the socket or plug wall thing, you know. Okay. Where was I? I got so sidetracked. Okay, I guess we're just going to hop back into this roundup. Remember, guys, if I'm talking too much and you're just getting here, all these free patterns are linked down in the description box below. So now we are going to hop uh, Oh, back into the roundup. Let's see. Oh, did I go over? Just one more. Just one more. I don't think I got a lot of people in a response. She says, making things for Christmas. No, but I had to build up my gift stash because my nine-year-old daughters have has a giving heart. Aw, sweet. All right, now we're going to hop back into this roundup. So the next question I'm going to ask you before I show you these next two pictures. And remember, put question marks in front of it so I can bring it to the front so everybody can see what you're talking about. All right, so... What was, how long was your longest crochet block? When you've wanted to crochet or you haven't wanted to crochet, how long, better question, how long has been your crochet drought, a spell when you haven't crocheted? How long was it? So make sure you put that in this, the comments right now. Just don't say 11 months. 11 months and why? Why did you leave crochet? All right, so let's hop back into this roundup. Where are we at? We did that one. Ooh, these are cute. This is our number five. We're halfway through our roundup right now. This is the ice cream amigurumi. This ice cream amigurumi, excuse me, I need a drink. This ice cream amigurumi pattern is pure fun. The pattern is super easy and there's no sewing involved. You're going to love playing around with different colors and coming up with new flavors. The designer of this pattern is Stringy Ding Ding. I love that name. I think this is the first time hearing about this designer, Stringy Ding Ding. Hold on, Stringy Ding Ding. I might have to check out their whole website. 
look at all. The, I think this is like an Amigurumi guru, or is this a site that collects patterns? But this is cute. Nope, it's an actual person. Oh, I wish we seen her face. I want to have to do some more research for a stringy ding ding. All right, the next pattern. All right, this is called the Sir Bat. <laughs> Sir Bat Wington the Brave Bat. I know Halloween is over, but this was just such a cute little pattern. This adorable little amigurumi is the perfect little spooky decoration for Halloween, even though it's over, but it might be cute for that one little child who loves uh, spooky stuff like, oh, Wednesday Adams, that TV show's coming out. Any little kid that loves that or adult, this will be cute for. The designer of this pattern is Sweet Softies. All right, we looked at those last two Amigurumi patterns. I hope you guys are liking this roundup. Oh, and also, <clears throat> at the end of this live stream, if you have anything that you're working on and you would like to show everybody, after we're doing this roundup, I want to see your patterns. I have an email address down in the description box. Email me. Let's see what you're working on. Let's show it off to the rest of the world. But you might have to wait just 10, 15 more minutes, and I'll almost be done. Promise. Let's scroll down to the new comments first. Okay. She says, six months after I had COVID and my brother died. I'm sorry so much for that with COVID. Two months after my bout with COVID. Oh, I am so sorry to hear that. But I should have went first with mine. The longest I went without crocheting. Uh, I would say within my 20s, something happened in my 20s. It was like years without crocheting. I remember having my daughter crocheting. I attempted to crochet when my son was first born and I made him a really ugly blanket. I was trying to remember stitches that I'd done a decade before and I just, mm. but once you pick it up, it's like riding a bike and everything's great again. <laughs> Excuse me itchy throat and I can't like talk. I feel very nasally. Joyfully Ever After says, I haven't been able to crochet since the earlier part of this year due to bilateral carpal tunnel syndrome. I had surgery on the one hand two weeks ago. The second is scheduled for January. Yeah, I heard you have to happen like at least six months apart. I know, I guess, because if you had them both, you'd be useless. You wouldn't be able to use any of your hands. So that's why they have to do one hand and another. So sorry to hear that. That's losing the use of my hand. It's not losing. It's temporarily using the use of your hands until you, all the surgeries are done. But that's a fear of, fear of mine to lose my hand. Here we go. Oh, here's a nice little. From 1999 to 2008, I think she's winning that award. I discovered Amigurumi 2008, 2018. I discovered Amigurumi in 2018. Juan says, "Explain uh, where the money was going. And yarn. It happens. Yarn's not expensive. Anybody complains about our yarn habit? Yes, it looks like we have, yes, we do have a lot of yarn. But yarn is not as expensive as a purse. Yarn isn't expensive as shoes or clothes. And I can make brand new clothes with this yarn. I can make, I can't make shoes, but could make a hat with these, you know. It's not that expensive. He shouldn't complain. Okay, this one's not too long. Hey, what's up, Carla? <laughs> See, there's my girl. Car Carla, you're making me cough. I was about, it was about two months. I just have a hard time coming up with ideas. If we're going off and of having no ideas, I'm just finishing a recent drought. I haven't crocheted. I think I made a slipper pattern in the summer and another hat pattern before that, but I've just been doing stitch tutorials. I've just been having like a brain block, but I know it doesn't look like anything yet. It's going to be a circle burello, bur what's it called? Okay, you can't see it now, but this part goes on the arms and I'm going to keep crocheting in circles where it becomes like a burello and it's going to be cute, but this is just the base of it so far and I'm using the V stitch to make it. 
some like I always say, I don't like to make long crochet patterns and to do a cons consecutive double crochet, double crochet, double crochet over and over. I'm like, that's going to take so long. So I'm just doing it in B stitches and thick yarn and a six millimeter crochet hook. I like to get done with this. I'll probably be done with that by tomorrow and be super happy. The longest drought was from January this year to June. We were going through a rough time because my dad was in the hospital. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, long story short, I have I have him a pill bottle. Now. I have him a pill bottle now. There we go. This this is a good one. Hold on. A few weeks after our daughter was born. How did you crochet a few weeks after your child was born? I, when my son was a newborn, uh, this was, he's 11 now. This was in 2011. The year before that, I was one of those heavy couponers that had like the uh, baseball card folder that flips open and I would have coupons lined in it. I'll be going to grocery store, getting like packs of newspaper just so I can take the inserts out. I was super in the couponing. As soon as my son was born, that newborn, I haven't couponed since. I used to be so proud of myself, but coupons aren't like they used to used to be. Once they got that TV show, man, coupons just went down. All right. What have I missed? <gasps> Hello, one of my faves. Oh, I'm pronouncing it wrong. But, but okay. Bolero, thank you guys. Thank you, Bolero. Thank you. So what was I calling it? Bolello, Brilla, Brilla. Was I calling it Brillo Pad? What was I saying? Now I can't remember the word. Somebody spell out what I was saying. <laughs> Bolero. I'm so horrible, but I appreciate that. All right, so we'll hop back in. I'll wait for somebody to tell me how I incorrectly say it. So. We're going to hop back into this roundup. If you would like to look at any of these patterns, they're all linked down in the description box below. And as I usually say, if you would like to help support this channel, you can always help support through Super Chat. This time, the bubbles will blow. The lights will go off. I got them all hooked up this time. So the question I want to ask you, this one, this I want to know, because I have this problem. I ask everybody this, and I'm still not satisfied with any answers. When you go yarn shopping, and you don't have a pattern in mind, and you're buying yarn, how many skeins do you buy? Let's say you see this beautiful skein of yarn, you're like, this is the most beautiful yarn I've ever seen. How many skeins are you gonna buy? Make sure you put question marks in front of it so I can bring it to the front. This has been like the yarn dilemma of my life. I'll see like, do I need one? Do I need 50? I don't know. So let's hop back into this pattern roundup. I was saying, uh, <laughs> I got the R and the L mixed up. I was saying Borla, Borla, Borella, Borlo. So, but now I know the correct way. Thank you, uh, Knit and Crochet Tiger. I appreciate it. I jacked it up so bad. But we got a super chat. Glory, thank you for making the bubbles go off and the lights flash. Let me pull you to the front. What were you at? Lori. It's one of my fave OGs. When I say OGs, this is my girl. And uh, how, I, how long have I been doing live streams? You've been with me for a while and I appreciate it. You was gone for a little bit, but so was I. But it's always nice seeing your face in the live stream. It's comforting seeing people I recognize. So when I say fave, yeah, seriously, you're my fave. But let me turn this off. <laughs> All right, Lori, let's let you spin the wheel of patterns. Remember, for these patterns, you have to email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Let's give it a spin. Oh, and you win the turban. And if you've already gotten these patterns, Lori, just go into my Etsy. I didn't link my Etsy shop in the chat, but I'm going to do that now. If you received any of these patterns before, please just email me something else that you want. Here's the pattern right here. And actually, 
let me put my Etsy shop copy. You guys get to see the background, what goes on in the back. This is what the back of my YouTube looks like. Let me add this in so you guys. Come on, computer. And paste. Did it paste? I don't want to accidentally delete anything. Cut and paste it. Paste. There we go. My Etsy shop is now in the description box. Save. All right. So let's hop back into this pattern roundup. Where are we at? We did the little bat. Oh, the kitten. This is our number seven. Add personality to your crochet armor groomy creations by giving them little clothes. These cute cat designs come with the option for an adorable ruffle skirt or a striped shirt. I uh, know a lot of little kids who would love to receive these for Christmas. The designer of this is Lily Lease. I hope I pronounced her name right, Lily Lease. That's a cute. These are new designers I haven't seen before. They're probably not new designers, but this is so cute. Designers that I'm just now hearing about. Any other pictures? How cute is that? All right, so the next one, this is called the Heidi, well, this is called Heidi the horse. I think we all know one or more people who are obsessed with horses. You can capture all the horsey adorableness in this cute form with this free and easy pattern or get crazy with the colors, add a horn and make a unicorn instead. The designer of this pattern is Jess Huff. I think somebody had an order. This is an older pattern. I believe somebody ordered this from me before and I followed the pattern. This is super cute because I'm having flashbacks to this. All right, so back to our questions. My question to you was, when you buy yarn, how many skeins do you buy? I'll restate it. You see this beautiful skein of yarn and you're like this. I love this. I'm buying it. How many do you buy? I would tell you what I do, but I'm random. Sometimes I'm like, oh, just get two. I never get one. I'm like, I'll just get two. But I'm like, this could be a blanket. I get two to four. We'll just keep it at that. Two to four, that's what I get. So I'm going to scroll to the top this time and see if I missed anybody. Uh, Blackheart says four. <laughs> Dishy Love says always buy five. Caitlin said, you're with me. Normally, I buy about two to four. Has to be an even number. That makes sense. Well, it doesn't, I guess technically it doesn't make sense. It's a rational reason it has to be even. But in my head, it makes sense. Okay, I'm combined with Caitlin and Caitlin. Depends on the price. Real cheap and orm form. Orm full. Yes. Uh, let's say I can have a limit. I, I haven't spent $100 on yarn in a while, but if I'm spending $100, I'm not getting like one or two luxury yarns. I'm getting 552 50 cents yarn. I've told this story in the past, but I'm sure a lot of the viewers are here that are uh, new. It was three years ago. They had this sale about in Punxsutawney, which is about two hours from here. But regardless, yarn was 50 cent a skein. They had like this big blowout and it was 50 cent a skein. It was more like in a, not a flea market setup. So it wasn't like a nice yarn place. It was a flea market setup with bins and bins of yarn. Me and a whole bunch of ladies, I knew the ladies that were going for the yarn because we look a certain type of way. I don't know what it is, but sometimes when you see a crafter, you just know we are all against the gates like a starting line. We're counting like, okay, opens up in five, four, three, two, one. As soon as they open the gates, me and these other ladies, we went running, charging the yarn. I didn't even know the yarn I was getting. I just knew I had a bag and I was just stuffing yarn and it's stuffing left and right. I think I spent like $150. So imagine... I can't do math. I should bring up my calculator. So how many skeins of yarn can I get for $150 when they're about 50 cent? So let me know. I got a lot of yarn. Okay. I got sidetracked. Oh, one, 
but I generally don't do wearables. Just one? You are a rare gem. I think I've always need two, but like, what's, what if you make a cool hat and you get to the last row and all you need is like 20 more yards of yarn? You're going to be like, oh, I should have got that second one. Oh, girl, you get it all. I buy 2,000 yards worth to make sure I have enough to make something wearable that's big. See, at least you have like your mind made up. You have, what's it called? A rule, a yarn rule in your head. Maybe I should go by yardage. That's smart. Because I always make hats. I always make slippers. Just go by the yardage. Smart girl. It's not magic. I like your name. I don't buy yarn without a pattern. However, I keep my patterns on my phone so I can pull them up, pull them up the amount I need. Smart girl. I have yarn in pulse issues at times. I am not as bad as I used to be. I would have to go and buy yarn all the time. I cut my rations down about two years ago. I went on a yarn, yarn diet. I haven't been heavy since, but sometimes if I see something beautiful, I just, I have to. I get four. It might not be uh, able to make some things, but at least something will occur. Another even number. Uh, Wanda says, usually even number. So four at least. And we'll do a couple more. After this one, I'll skip a couple. I try not to just buy if I don't have a purpose. Good girl. But I, okay, I didn't read this, but I have done it. About two skeins of metallic rainbow stuff. That sounds beautiful. And I ended up having just enough to make some dragon scale gloves for my wife. Awesome husband. Oh, dragon scale gloves. Those are beautiful. I think you mean like the ones that come down here. Actually, I think I'm going to have to take you guys on a field trip because I can't picture the dragon scale gloves. All right, field trip, guys. There we go. Dragons. I can't spell dragon. Dragon scale gloves. Crochet. Oh. Oh, yep, I've seen it. I knew I've seen those before. Those are cute. With some metallic rainbow. I love a little yarn that has that like little tinsel in it, that sheen, that shine. Beautiful. All right, thank you for the uh, field trip. I appreciate it. All right, let me scroll down and see if I missed anybody. Tracy says, my mom taught me how to crochet, but never got really into it until my 30s, but can't stop now. I'm in my 40s. All right, so now we're going to be looking at the last two patterns. Remember, if you'd like to see any of these patterns, they're linked down in the description box below. And my question before, blah, blah, blah. my question for you now is, this is for me, I want to know this also. Now every year there's like a popular pattern. There was a pocket scarf. There was all the plushy amigurumi. There was the messy bun years ago. There was, remember those crochet mermaid tails years ago? What is the popular it crochet pattern right now? You want to know? I, I'm, I haven't seen one this season or maybe I'm not in the crochet world. What is it? And if you would like, after these last two, if you have any crochet you would like to send me so everybody can see in the next uh, five minutes. I'm going to bring it up and let everybody see it. So email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. The email is in the description box. All right, last two. Where am I? Oh, that's cute. Did I do that? Okay, yep, we're here. Find my script. This is the Amigurumi Pineapple Purse. Unlike traditional crochet patterns for free amigurumi that uses single crochet stitches, this design calls for shell stitches. The resulting texture is the perfect way to capture the essence of a spiky pineapple. Once again, I give it off to the uh, amigurumi designers to think of a pineapple purse and using shell stitches is genius. It gives you that whole pineapple texture. This is cute. You know what? I know a lot of people think, oh, this will be perfect for a little girl. I think this will be perfect for this grown woman right here. I like it. It's super cute. 
Look how tiny it is. I would, it'd be like a little wrist purse. I don't like to carry much. All I need is my cash and I'll put it in my there and I can put my car keys and just walk with my little pineapple on my wrist. I don't know. I like that so far. I think out of all these, that pineapple purse is my favorite. All right. And the very last one, this is the Amigurumi Flamingo. There's so many great crochet patterns for Amigurumi out there that you can pretty much find anything to make. In addition to basic critters, there's even more exotic animals like this pretty pink flamingo. The designer of this pattern is Grace and Yarn. This is a big one. Oh, can you imagine making this in like some bulky yarn? How big it would be? That would be cute. I like when they when people take amigurumi patterns that's made traditionally for a, a worsted or smaller weight yarn, and they make it in like a super bulky yarn, so they're like jagundis. That is cute. Any more pictures? Mm -hmm. Oh, I always like the making of pictures. Yep. So there is some sewing, which is not much. That's so cute. All right. I always feel bad. I'm always like, that's so cute. I need to find some more descriptive words when I'm talking about stuff. All right. So we're getting into our very last question. I'm sorry for all the sniffiness. What is the most popular pattern right now? Make sure you put question marks in front of it. I don't even know what's cool right now. Oh, and if you have anything uh, you would like to email me or show me, we're gonna share that with the crowd right now. Actually, I'm behind the scenes about to pull up my Gmail now. But before that, we're gonna hop into the questions. Hold on, come on email. I'll hop into the uh, questions first. I'm, I'm looking at the, I'm sorry. This was the last question about how many skeins to buy. Did you say you would buy three? Oh, that's how many skeins I got of yarn. If you're just um, chiming in, I was talking about uh, how much yarn I got from this sale where they're selling yarn for 50 cents. It was 300. That, oh, wait, 75? Wait, I don't know. Is that what you're talking about? Because I can't do math, especially when I'm trying to talk and keep the conversation going. It's weird. But I got a lot of yarn. It was garbage bags. Okay, now we're talking about what's popular right now. I've been seeing tons of fun granny patterns right now. Hmm, like uh, granny sweaters, purse, or just anything granny. But actually, granny patterns are always cool. Hmm, because I'm trying to think of what else should I be making right now? Yes. Mitten Crochet Tiger says that bag that I love, the pineapple bag, it looks like an onion. You know what? I can be walking around with a cute onion, but I, I don't want nobody to say I look like a, it looks like an onion. I think it's cute. Kaylin says, I think the most popular pattern right now is the granny square. Sweaters, bags, and even pants and shorts. Thank you. I uh, guess uh, Susan says the same thing. Granny squares. Man, you think the basis wasn't coming back, but it is. I'm seeing a lot of tested, probably Tunisian crochet patterns and African flower motifs. I like the African flower motifs. Have you seen them on the, is that what they use on the hippopotamus? Is those little, I think it's a hippopotamus that they crochet, have all, they're like a hexagon or something gone stuck together. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble scrolling. I should have attached my mouse. Oh, I forgot the question mark. I think Granny Squares is quite popular. Yeah, if you don't have a question mark, I just happen to scroll right past. That question mark helps me see that it's just not, you know, you guys talking to each other in the comments. Uh, Basil's becoming my co-host right here today. I don't know what's popular, but I do see a lot of granny square stuff, which is good because I'm always making granny squares. If I don't know what to make, you can never have enough squares. Okay, guys, I think that's what my next tutorials need to be. Of course, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to say it right. Bolero. I was calling Bolero. Bolero. I'm going to finish that. And I'm going to hop into some granny square patterns.
and another one of my co-hosts today, Wanda. I think with me learning the mosaic design crochet pattern, so amazing the designs and trying to make my trying to make your own. I can follow a pattern, but to design my own mosaic crochet pattern, they're so beautiful. I wish my mind worked in those shapes. Ah. Oh. Let me scroll down. Anything I'm missing? I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. Uh, knit and crochet tiger. Granny squares are the easiest patterns to do other than just straight double crochet. All right. Now we are going to go into my inbox. Let me pull up somebody. Hold on. Do, do, do. Share my screen. First one. I designed a bird. I call it bird <laughs> about to take flight. Oh, I thought it was just bird. You call it bird about to take flight. So let's check this one out. That is beautiful. It has even the legs. The hard thing about crochet is getting the perfect picture to take so we can see all the details. I would love to see the back of the wings. I love the color on the tail. Is that the yarn? Yeah, that's like a, a variegated yarn or ombre yarn. You didn't change the colors yourself, did you? I don't know, because that color transition is beautiful. So good job, Sharon. Thank you for sharing this with us. <laughs> Sharon and Sharon. Oh, thank you for sending the uh, dragon scale gloves. Oh, ooh, that roving shimmery yarn. I love it. Oh. The only thing about this yarn, guys, get it right the first time. Don't frog, but this is beautiful. Good job, and thank you for sharing it with us. Let's get your name again. Mergob? If it's the granny scale gloves, I'm thinking this. Uh, why can't I remember your name? I was just saying it all the time. I just said you were my co-host. The one that made it for his wife. My My brain just went. Oh, that's me, Busu. I'm trying to learn Spanish. <laughs> Where's the picture? Oh, no. Oh, that's just old. Those are the last people that won something. Here we go. And here we go. Oh, another one. <gasps> Is this a zebra? Gorgeous. Oh, there's more. Thank you so much for sharing. Let me go back in the inbox and make sure I didn't miss anybody. Nope, I think that is everyone. Let me refresh one more time. Did anybody send anything? Nope, that was it. Thank you so much for sharing your crochet with me. I appreciate it too much. I, yes, it was from you. I knew it was from you, Basil. That's such an easy name to remember. I couldn't think like, uh, the man that crocheted for his wife, Basil. Yes, I figured it was from you. It was dragon scale gloves. I don't think anybody's made, well, not anybody, but the fact of looking at the yarn and what you described and it's rainbow, I knew it was you. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this live stream. We made it to our hour point. I appreciate you guys being here. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to get Karen back next week. Karen has been like super busy and working hard. So I'm going to try to squeeze her in here. Cross your fingers we get it back because I miss my co-host with all of my heart. All right, guys. Uh, make sure you check out the free patterns that's linked down below. And I'll see you all next week. Same time, same place, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. Bye, guys.